All right, guys, so we finally got our Mavic Air Fly More combo because I want the extra batteries and everything. Um, I need it for real estate. I'm shooting real estate. I'm shooting cars. I'm shooting everything right now, and I just I needed a drone to be able to shoot the house and everything. So I talked to my realtor and I worked out a deal with her and everything. So I finally was able to get the one I wanted. Now I was kind of leery between the Pro and the Air, but it said that the Pro only does 90 FPS or 98 or something like that, 1080p, which isn't really that big of a deal, but this is newer, it has newer technology on it, um, and I can't really afford a Pro 2 yet. I got a really good deal on this, so um, without further ado, let's get this puppy open. So, comes in the original box, it should have all the original stuff, the case, I assume the drone's in there. This is, oh, these look like, these look like extra propellers. I have no clue at any. Mavic battery to power bank adapter. So I guess you can like power your phone charger and stuff using this, which that's pretty dope. Um, the extra propellers and everything, those should be brand new. The extra cables for different phones. Not quite sure what these are for. That stuff's nothing important at the moment. Um, then here, we have the propeller guards. They all look to be brand new and everything. And then here seems to be the carry bag for it, which I think I, I probably will just throw it into like my laptop bag or something, but this will do for now. Um, it still has all the manuals and everything. I don't want to start off using the propeller guards just to be safe, but and then we have the manuals and everything as well, which I'm pretty excited. It's kind of bright right now. So let's get this opened up. Yep, there we go. Here's the drone. It looks to be, I did buy it used because I did not want to pay the full price, at least at the moment. And it looks to be in pretty dang good shape. I see like two scratches. But besides that, it's all pretty dang sharp looking. And I got the white one. I think the white one looked better than the black. I kind of want the red, but I couldn't find a good deal. This one guy who I was looking at had like a skin for his, but I'm not sure how these come out. I don't want to force them. So. There's that for the moment. Let's see what we have stored in here. So here we have the controller. It even stars the plastic on it. That's what you like to see. So how do you get these to... Oh, so these actually don't... I thought that these stuck out, like maybe you pressed on them and they stuck out. But no, they're just like that. That's... Hey, wait. Nah, they have to stick out, don't they? So these stretch out and then your phone fits in here. Oh, that's what these little things are for, for your phone. Okay, I'm gonna have to change this cable out, obviously. I have a Samsung, not an iPhone. Hmm. Nah, there has to be joysticks to this. There's no way. Cause that's kinda like, like yeah, that would work, but that's kinda, I'm gonna have to read on that. That, that seems a little less than, optimistic. All right, so let's close that back up. We have that now. We have our three batteries, which I'm going to go throw on the charger. Let's see if they have any charge. It does not look like they do. Oh, this one does. This one has three. I really like that these have the power indicators on them. That's a really nice feature. Um, Casey's video really helped me kind of decide to get this one. This one's not very charged at all uh, because Casey was testing it. And I believe this is the same drone that Casey actually uses in his videos and things. So this looks to be the power adapter for the battery charger, which that's pretty dope. Which I think you can charge these individually. Like if I threw this on here like that, but what's the point in that when I can charge all of them? This seems to be, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a charger for the controller or something? 
I assume this has like rechargeable batteries or something in it. Um, but then you see, I don't know how to get these to stick out. I'm gonna read on it. Power button, your camera button. Oh, I shouldn't have turned that on. Oh, it was just showing me the battery. All right, come on, bro, turn off. Dog. Okay, there we go. Um, you have like your record button for videos, your camera button. Um, not quite sure what this is for. This is your button to raise and lower the camera. It's pretty cool. You got your sport mode button right here. Um, your pause, I don't know if maybe that pauses at mid-flight or something. Uh, FN, so like your function key. I really, I don't know how you're supposed to make the, unless they don't have anything screwed in. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So you actually just screw these in. And then you have your thumbsticks. So that's why there's all the extras of them. And then you have some stored down in here as well, which is really nice. So these are the extras. Um, this looks to be the charger for the battery. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the charger for the battery. So you just plug them into here. Oh, and he already has the batteries marked, which is dope. I appreciate that. So you kind of just connect them just like that. And then I still have space for one more battery as well. If I choose to get another. Um, where's that? Here it is. So I actually need to go throw this on the charger because I should be recording for the guys at 360 today. Um, and then here's the power cable for this adapter. So I'm going to go get this started charging. Um, kind of just go from there and see where that takes us. I'd like to record me taking off with it for the first time. I tried flying a drone the other day. Um, but it was a little winky dink drone. I was like, I'm not getting this up there because I almost hit like faux trees because it was just drifting with the wind and everything. So let's get this charged, let's get this started, and let's get the show on the road. All right guys, so I'm sorry, but I actually wanted to record the first time that I took off with the drone and everything, but I actually, as soon as I went to go charge them, I, I, I read the manuals and I sat down and I read quite a bit so I actually knew what I was doing. And then I ended up having to leave to actually go record. Um, the guys at 360 Detail were finishing up a fire truck, which I shared the video to you guys through Facebook. And I'm sorry I look a little rough right now. Allergies are really kicking my butt. No, it's not Corona. No, I don't want to hear any comments about Corona, but it's really kicking. Allergies are terrible right now. There's pollen everywhere and it's just, it's a horrible time of the year for someone who has really bad allergies and I actually just put my contact, it's like 2.15 or something, I actually just put my contacts in because my eyes have been so scratchy the past few days, I've been having such a hard time just keeping them in my eyes and normally I need them in because I'm going to record or film or something and I hate driving with glasses. I can do everything else with glasses but when it comes to like driving or something with glasses, it's just, it's a horrible time for me. So, actually just put my contacts in because I didn't want to have glasses on during the, and I know it's kind of windy right now for whatever reason, but, so, that, they were finishing up a fire truck and I really want to use the drone for the fire truck because it, it's really tall and everything and even with a regular car, it's really hard for me to get directly above the car to get videos of it and everything and the top, is the perfect spot when it's shiny out because it's like it has direct reflection and everything. And the really nice thing about using the drone is one issue I have with a lot of the videos I create is there's too much of myself in their flight. They do such a beautiful job that it's like looking straight into a mirror of myself as I'm recording and I hate seeing it. So the cool thing with the drone is I took it above and it was positioned at such an angle where it was recording that you couldn't really see the drone in it. You know, it looks like it's, you, you just see the reflection of the sky and all of that stuff. So it turned out really great. It was actually my first time flying the drone. Had I had gotten to test it out here, I think I would have shot it definitely a lot better of a video, but 
it, it turned out really good, I think. Um, and they really liked it over there, but in the future it will definitely turn out a whole lot better. I'd like to shoot all the outside scenes with it, or at least where applicable, um, with the drone. Just fly the drone around, because the drone, even with my gimbal, the drone will always be more smooth. The only thing that the drone really doesn't do well is sound, but it records the sound of like my phone and everything and then it plays it back. So it's, the drone just, it does a wonderful job. The picture quality, the video quality of it is beautiful. It's not quite this, but this is a, like a camera, a huge camera. That's like, it has this little tiny freaking camera on it. So, but it went really well and I really like the drone. I'm really happy because I've been wanting a drone since I was like, 14, 15 years old, you know, I really want, when I first started doing like vlogs and things, I really want a drone. And that was one of, one of the things that I was really focused on purchasing, but just the practicality of it really wasn't there. You know, it's expensive. In a camera, I can take pictures, I can take videos and everything else. The drone, um, I didn't really understand the legality of it and where you could use it responsibly and everything else. Now I know it a lot better and I'm actually going to get my testing and everything done just corona's kind of holding that up and it's a little pricey so right now i'm just going to be kind of using it for recreational things at the moment and then uh and i wanted to use it actually in this video and get some like some footage with it just to kind of show you guys but i want to kind of do a review on it next week because i want to go to a park or someplace cool where i can take it up above the trees and like show everything you know and show how clear and how beautiful it is and why i think the mavic air because it's two years old now and you know how technology is after a couple of years two years a lot can change technology wise you know think about before we had the core processors and we used to have like before we had i7s and we had like m2s and things like that and like the apple products and everything but it still shoots 4k 30 it shoots 2.7k 60 and it shoots 1080p 120 fps and that's something that really sold it for me because this camera does 4k 30 and then 1080 120 fps so i wanted something that could kind of match this frame rate wise so i could use that and slow it down a whole lot and post processing and everything of a vehicle or something you know i think it would be cool to take the drone while they're washing a car and uh just really how do i say really like I don't know, just get really good shots like above the air because in my videos I've made for them, it's always like around this like certain level, you know, but the drone, you throw like another angle in there where I can't get reliably, you know, because if I'm holding the, the gimbal all the way up here, I can't get the steadiest shot so it doesn't always turn out very well, but the drone, I can fly it as high as needed and I have some really cool ideas I want to do with it. I just need to get more comfortable with it. Um, so. Everything's taken care of with that. It's registered. I have the license and I'm getting all the extra, the little like odds and ends because there's waivers and things that you can get taken care of like to fly it um, in populated places and stuff like that. And I'd really like to get that because I'd love to take it on like a beach or something. And there's just, there's a lot of legality with it and I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing everything legally to the best of my ability. So the drone's great. I got a Mavic Air, I've mentioned it multiple times, it's beautiful. I wish I could have gotten it on film the first time of me taking it off, but like I said, I had to go get the shots done there and they were really excited for me to test out the drone and get all that taken care of and everything. But I don't know, I'm really, I'm really excited, I'm really excited to use it more. There's even a live stream feature off of it, so I'd like to use the live stream feature sometime, you know, maybe on my Twitch or even my YouTube and just take it up and just fly it you know, fly it around and just live stream directly. And then the cool thing with that is I believe that it will capture my voice and everything off my phone. So I'll be able to talk to you guys while we're flying it. So it sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Um, and it sounds like a fun time and I'm just excited to use it more. I'm so excited to freaking shoot videos and everything, but things have kind of been getting like cut short and things haven't been happening because of the coronavirus. And I, I, I will admit at first I was kind of one of the people that didn't think it was like a big deal, it wasn't serious, but I don't want to like, because we were planning to this coming week um, go to Ohio because we were going to return, it was going to be like our Easter visit, but we don't want to spread to my grandparents and with people not really heeding the warnings and things, I don't want to get locked in Ohio. Um, 
and then not be able to come back to Carolina and not be able to get my work done and not be able to see my animals and everything. So I think right now Ohio's out of the picture. Traveling anywhere far is out of the picture. I've been kind of following the guidelines that they've been setting. Um, staying home, not going into crowded places and just trying to do my best to not get it and not spread it to anyone else. Um, we actually think that my mother's boyfriend, Dewey, actually had it because he had, he got sick and he was having really bad respiratory, like coughing really bad and uh, it was hard to breathe and things like that. And we really think he had it in December. Um, we're not 100% sure now, it's kind of too late, but we really think he had it. Um, and I don't know, it's a scary thing. It's scary to think about what if it's not as serious as people are making it out to be and the government like is locking people down and stuff but then it's also scary to think about what if it is as serious or more serious for that matter than what people are making it out to be and it's really what they're saying like it's the next bubonic plague the next freaking uh h1z or n1 whatever it's called the spanish flu um and it's just, it's a scary thought. So I don't really know where to go with it. I'm happy everyone's kind of working together and everything. It's just, it's very scary, the thought of being locked down and not being able to leave. You know, it's a very scary thought, but I feel like it's going to come because people aren't really following directions that they're given, if that makes sense. They're telling people to stay home, not to vacation. I get people don't want to ruin their spring breaks. I don't want my spring break ruined either. But I don't want to ruin it for someone else. I don't want to be the one that gives it to my grandparents. You know, I don't want to be the one that gives it to Brittany's grandparents or Brittany's parents or something, someone that's more vulnerable. I have a good immune system, but that doesn't mean, like they said, that doesn't mean that I don't have it or I won't get it and then give it to someone else. So it's, it's, a, it's scary because I, I'd rather overreact and it gets neutralized than to underreact and a lot of people that shouldn't get sick and die from something that could have really been prevented. There's like a little squirrel. Um, so it, it's, it's really a scary situation. It's a tough situation. I don't really know how I feel about a lot of things because a lot of it seems very sketchy. Um, like about uh, government officials selling off stocks, about CEOs stepping down and the two to three months prior about them trying to, the government trying to pass something to end end-to-end -end encryption. Um, that book that predicted in 1981, the Wuhan virus, um, it's just, I, I know that because I, I read up quite a bit about it and people are saying it's false because it's not the kind, same type of virus, but it's very scary to think about when you think of movies like I Am Legend or something. And I, I don't want it to get to the, I could deal with the lockdown, I just, I don't want it to get to the point where they're forcing people to take, like, the vaccine and stuff, you know? Because I feel like that's, I don't know if it would ever get to that. I'm just, like, kind of babbling about, it. I just have fears with things like this. Um, like I said, I, it may not be as big of a deal. I'd kind of rather us overreact than underreact, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather overreact people go into lockdown for like two weeks or people are quarantining themselves and we get rid of it and it's over then we don't even try or don't even make an attempt and the virus ends up killing way more people than it should and it ends up being like another black plague it just it, it's very scary thinking about the possibilities and what could happen if that makes sense um, so I don't know one way or another whether it's bad or it's good or I just think we got to work together We got to kind of heed their warnings. I don't want to be locked down in my house for months um, I don't want to deal with martial law. I don't want to deal with freaking getting forced to take vaccines and things um, So I don't know I don't really know where it's going to go. I don't know what's going to happen I don't know how I would handle it, so I'm not going to criticize anyone else with the way they're handling it. Um, I just know there's some very sketchy things going on, and it seems like there's going to be some hard times to follow. And uh, 
I really apologize for not uploading last week. I've been making it a, a, a I've been trying to do better with the uploading regularly. Um, and I, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. Last week's the only week I missed since I started. And it's just because I don't really know how to take all this stuff, you know? And there's really nothing at the moment to go do. Um, can't go to parks, can't go to beaches, can't travel like we were going to. And it's just, it's really, there's nothing to do. Um, all I've been doing is I'll go record for the 360 detail guys for a little, I'll go record for Chad, I'll go record for Jessica. And besides that, I just, I've been spending time at home, uh, streaming, relaxing. I actually cleaned my keyboard today. That was something that definitely needed to get done. I had just been kind of pushing it off because my keyboard was disgusting from like cat hair and stuff like that. I need to stop eating over my keyboard. That is the main issue. But. I don't know guys, I hope you guys are staying safe out there, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're not overreacting, I hope we're not overreacting, I hope, I just, I hope it doesn't end up, I don't know, I don't even know how to word it, you know, because there's people that are going to be like, you're overreacting, blah blah blah, it's not a big deal, and then there's going to be people who are like, you're underreacting, and it's a bigger deal than you think, and blah blah blah. All I gotta say is wash your hands, wash your mouth, hands. Please, if you could just for one month stop traveling, stop taking vacations, enjoy the time off if you can, if you have time off. Um, the government's supposed to be working on sending money out to people, and just please relax. And let's not make this more than it has to be, you know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be locked down in my house. I don't want to be forced. I w I'm fine with quarantining myself for a couple of weeks, but I do not want to be forced to stay in my house, y'all. So, anybody who's out there still working, truckers, um, people in the health department, working in emergency rooms and things like that, um, I thank you very much for all that you do. Um, people that work at airports, people that are working at places that aren't closing down, mechanics. Um, anybody who still has to work, um, anybody who's got to pay their bills and don't know where their next check's going to be coming from, I really feel for you. Anybody who's dealing with people on a constant basis, fast food workers, people like that, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Um, and just know things will get better. I don't know how long it's going to take, but things will get better. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, it's another, been another video from your boy. Um, leave a like rating, share with your friends, subscribe, and I will try to be regularly uploading. I just, things are going to be boring until I'm able to really go and do stuff again. So, thank you guys very much. I'll see you later. Be safe. Well, um, just being honest, my conscience ain't doing bad. Because I try to minus the problems that I attract. And half the time, the wheels are in the back of my mind. Just keep on turning till the tires flat and burning till the fire crack. I do not lie, though facts may seem a little far-fetched. 